Well, a lot of y'all, this is before even my time. Good old Ray Scott. Ray Scott was one of the top 30 players in Detroit Pistons history and definitely in the Michigan Hall of Fame. The 6'9", 4", who played his basketball at the University of Portland. And Ray, like Will, <laughs> you know, he was... You know, they they were ladies' men. You know, they did their thing. And, you know, he used to compete against Wilk and all them. And, you know, girls flock to guys like that. And, you know, that's just, that's just what it was. Now, he had a great career. Not just with the Pistons. He played some uh, quality top with the uh, Bullets before, you know, becoming the head coach of the Pistons once he retired from basketball when he retired from the ABA. He became the Pistons coach in 72. And the Pistons at this time were pretty much going nowhere. You know, they were, the NBA is not what it was <laughs> today as it was back then. You know, um, it was still trying to come into some type of prominence and they weren't really filling up stadiums you know it was just like an auditorium of people coming to check them out and Ray Scott was the first coach to really have some success since they moved from Fort Wayne Indiana when he took over the team in 1974, he won Coach of the Year. Because they won 52 games. Uh, I think they had Dave Bing at the time, if I'm not mistaken. They was 52 and 30 that year. And everybody had high expectations for the Pistons. Or either that or they overachieved because <laughs> the, the very next year things started to slap. And there were changes and you know Ray was it's like Ray wasn't coaching the way he used to he didn't care anymore they thought he was a fiery coach plus he's 6'9 <laughs> but there was other problems that was going on in the organization that people didn't really know you know and then into the uh, 1976 season you know, 75-76 season, they just won the MVP, I mean Coach of the Year, the year before. On January 26, <laughs> security comes in in the middle of practice and escort Ray Scott out of the facility. And he was fired. <laughs> and everybody like, whoa. And they was like, well, they were struggling through the 75-76 season. But to do it that way, he was the winningest coach in franchise history at the time. And just the way it was done in the middle of a practice, Oscar Feldman walked in the gym, who's the GM, with a bunch of security personnel, and announced that Scott had been fired and then escorted him out of the building. And then people was like, what is going on? And what had happened was they were like, oh, well, we needed to make a change. And, and this, you know, the, the political correct answer of what happened behind his firing. And that they put Herb Brown in charge just out of the blue and heard you know he couldn't even get the lineup together let alone draw up a play to be a head coach and what had happened was he had an affair with one of the executives of the Detroit Pistons the wife 
and we're and everybody's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> now Herb Brown, whose brother is you know Larry Brown, we all know him, but he wasn't a great coach. He was more of a, a player's coach or, or babysitter. So, all I know is that Scott was with this executive's wife. No one ever found out who wife it was that he was sleeping with. But the executive guy found out because he was with another woman and she got jealous so she ended up telling on on Scott or whatever she fell in love with him and it broke her heart that, she, that he was with another woman and she just went and told her husband about the affair so Scott was immediately let go <laughs> and they didn't want him to coach in the NBA ever again and he never did so that ended his route and run in the NBA period. So for all of y'all who are basketball savants who follow history of it, that's what happened to Ray Scott. <laughs> I'm out.